hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am shelby of shelby in the book club if you are returning welcome back hey friend in today's video we are going to be talking about my april tbr i cannot believe that we are in april already like where did the time what like what what is this <laughs> what is life where is time going um February and March were not good reading months for me for reasons that we don't have to talk about. Um, but this month I've picked some good books. Um, all books that I really want to read. Every month when I pick books I really want to read them. But this, like, I, I, I feel like it's going to be a good reading month in April. So if you would like to hear what I'm going to read for the month of April or what I plan to read for the month of April, um, here you go. But before we get started, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. We are really on the road to 1,000 subscribers and I just cannot wait to get there. We are almost there. So make sure you share these videos. Make sure you like. Make sure you comment. I love talking to you guys. Always comment because I find new books that way. We have good interactions. Y'all are my friends. So y'all should be talking to me anyway. Don't you want to keep in touch with your friends? <laughs> Here we go. Okay. So some of these books, I don't know, well, I know when I'm posting this, but I don't know if y'all saw the book haul that I did yet, because I don't know when I'm posting the book haul. So some of these you may have already seen in the book haul, or if not, you're going to see these in the book haul whenever I decide to post that. Okay? Okay. There we go. So first, like always, let's start off with the book club pick of the month. We are reading the ecstatic by Victor Laval. So I love Victor Laval. I feel like I've talked about him to you guys before. He wrote the um, Changeling, which I read not last year, but the year before in 2020, which I absolutely loved. I love his writing style. Um, it's funny. It's, 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 he kind of like, I feel like he writes the way that Walter Mosley writes if Walter Mosley was writing fantasy. Like, he puts me in the mind of, like, Walter Mosley or um, James McBride, like, those kind of writers. Um, so this one is supposed to be funny. I let you guys pick this one over on the Instagram, um, which if you don't follow, please follow me on Instagram at Show Me in the Bookstore. But I put a poll in my... Um, stories and you guys picked the horror humor um one so this one says anthony james weighs 350 pounds is possibly schizophrenic and has just been kicked out of college um he's rescued by his family who may not be altogether sane themselves um so he is living in the basement of their home in queens new york where he is armed with nothing but wicked sarcasm and a few well-cut suits. He intends to make horror movies, but takes the jobs he can handle, cleaning homes and factories, and keeps crossing paths with a Japanese political prisoner, a mysterious loan shark named Ishka Bibbles, and packs of feral dogs. When his invincible 13-year-old sister enters yet another beauty pageant, this one for virgins, the combustible Jameses, pile into their car and head south for the competition. Will Anthony's family stick together or explode? With electrifying prose, Laval ushers us into four troubled but very funny lives. So this is the book for the month of April and I'm super excited to read it. Um, let's put that over there. Next, speaking of book club, if you don't know, I do have a Patreon where they get to vote on their book every month. Um, so this month they voted for The Master of Poisons. This one is by Andrea Harrison. Um, it says the world is changing. Poison Desert eats good farmland. Once sweet water turns foul, the wind blows sand and sadness across the empire. To get caught in a storm is death. To live and do nothing is death. There is magic in the world, but good conjure is hard to find. Dejola, right hand man and spy master of the Lord of the Arkansia Empire, is desperately trying to save his adopted homeland, even in exile. Awa, a young woman training to be a powerful griot, tests the limits of her knowledge and comes into her own in a world of sorcery. Floating cities 
kindly beast and uncertain man awash in the rhymes of folklore and storytelling and rich with Harrison's char characteristic lush prose master of poisons is an epic fantasy that will leave you aching for the world it burns into being so about my patreon it's ten dollars a month um and with that ten dollars a month you get access to all of my content first so youtube videos go there first um you get to vote on a book club pick every month and i'm adding a few things so i will be doing reading vlogs only for the patreon group for the book of the month so you guys can see how i was reacting to the book as i was reading it um and we also have zoom meetings once a month which the last two months because they've been super crazy i haven't been able to do them but i update y'all on everything on there first so if you would like to join my patreon the link is in the underneath a bar <sighs> go do that so next we have the last days of ptolemy gray by walter mosley Again, you will hear me talk about this in another video that is coming um, as a book that I did not finish. So I started this in March um, because the series is on Apple TV now with Samuel Jackson in it. And I think I want to do, I don't know, maybe I'll do like a reading vlog on it or I want to do some sort of video on this book because I think it is truly, truly amazing. So... Um, Expect that in the next few weeks or months or so. So it says at 91, Ptolemy Gray is one of the world's forgotten by his friends, his family, by even himself. Walled in a cluttered Los Angeles apartment that overflows with mementos from his past, Ptolemy sinks into lonely dementia and into a past that's best left buried. Until at his grandnephew's funeral, he meets 17-year-old Robin, experiences a seismic shift in his head his heart and his life robin unlike anyone ptolemy has ever known refusing to allow oh robin is like anyone ptolemy has ever known refusing to allow ptolemy to live the way he does swallowed up by memories she reinvigorates his life with her help ptolemy moves from isolation into the brightness of friendship and desire but robin's challenges also push ptolemy to make life-changing decisions that will affect them both to recapture the clarity and vigor of his fading mind to unlock the secrets he has carried for decades to ensure a legacy that no one will forget um so yeah i want to finish this this month um and like i said i want to do some sort of video on this you guys know walter mosley is one of my favorite authors um i think he is amazing in every sense of the word i think um i i just i love him so i really want to finish that these next two books i have on my tbr um the Conductors and the Undertakers by Nicole Glover. Um, so these are about a husband and a wife who practice magic, who also used to help people on the Underground Railroad. Um, and now they use their magic to solve crimes in the seventh ward of Philadelphia. Um, that white police officers and such usually just ignore. So I've been wanting to read the first one for a while and then I grabbed the second one because I was like, okay, if I like this, then I'm going to want to read the second one immediately. So I have them both on my TBR for this month so that I can read them both, hopefully. Um, next, The Darkest Child by Dolores Phillips. Um, I feel like everybody and their mama has read this book but me. Um, so it says Parksfield, Georgia, 1958, 13 year old Tangy May is the sixth of 10 fatherless siblings. She is the darkest skinned among them and therefore the ugliest in her mother's estimation, but she's also the brightest. Her mother, Roselle, beautiful, charismatic and light skinned exercises a violent hold over her children. Fearing abandonment, she pulls them from school when they turn 12 and sends them to earn their keep whether in domestic service in the fields or at the farmhouse quote unquote on the edge of town where roselle begs local men for money but tangy may has been selected to be a part of the first integrated class at the nearby white high school she has a chance to change her life because she break from roselle's grasp without ruinous even fatal consequences so yeah, I want to read this. I've heard that there should be some trigger warnings um, with this one. 
Um, but I've also heard good things about it, so I want to read it. And like I said, I, I kind of, I feel left out. I feel like anybody who is a black reader has read that book, has raved about it, has said good things about it, except for me. So it's my time. It's my time. That's all. And then last but certainly not least, I have Cleo, Patra, and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. So this one is about Cleo, who is a artist who has come to New York City from England and her visa is about to be up where she meets Frank and who is rich and kind of offers her this life where she can paint and do this stuff um but then it kind of goes through their life together the trials and tribulations of marriage and mental health and how that affects them and their friends and the people around them it just sounds really good I feel like there are a bunch of people on bookstagram and booktube right now reading this book and Cleopatra and Frankenstein are two very opposite people. So I was just like, I need that in my life. Um, so let me know what you guys are reading. If you're interested in any of these books. If you are a Patreon subscriber, let me know. <laughs> um, let me know that you're watching and that you're here and all of that kind of stuff. Um, but other than that, that's my April TBR. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe okay before you go um and if no one has told you today i love you you are kind you are smart and most importantly you are important to me okay so i love you and i will see you in the next video bye guys